Today's episode is brought to you by the word ignorant. Ignorant. You too can enjoy the beauty of the word ignorant at any time by simply viewing any YouTube video and reading through the comments. Today on this special Mythbusters edition of me, I'm going to test the myth, the internet fact that if you transmit on a radio without an antenna, you will damage your radio, you will kill your radio if you ever transmit without an antenna. If you've ever visited a online forum for GMRS radios, ham radios, CB radios, you've no doubt seen the experts saying that if you transmit on your radio, if you touch that button with no antenna attached or with a bad or high SWR, that your radio will explode into flames and will be destroyed. Everybody repeats this as though it's fact. Click the button, no antenna, boom. But most people repeat this urban legend without understanding it or knowing any details at all. And if you read the manual of any radio, CB radio, ham radio, walkie talkie, they almost all say, don't transmit without an antenna or don't transmit with a high SWR. The reason for this is because when you press the transmit button on your radio, it sends RF electricities out through the antenna. The antenna shoots that power out in all directions, unless it's a high gain antenna, and then it may only be in certain directions, thusly releasing the energy from the battery out the antenna like a laser beam. When we remove the antenna, all those RF electricities have nowhere to go, and they store up inside, heating up the components, the final amplifier, PA, and the the stuff inside gets hot. Eventually it gets hot enough that it becomes damaged. It's the same if your SWR is high. If your antenna is not matched properly for the frequency that you're using, instead of all of the RF electrolysities going out the antenna, some of it will bounce back in, doing the same thing, heating up the radio and causing damage. Now the more power that your radio outputs, the more RF electricities, the more potential there is for damage. So a two watt radio should theoretically, according to the experts, not be damaged as quickly as say a 50 watt radio. There's a lot of RF electricities in 50 watts. There's more than in two watts. So I've set this radio at five watts, the most this radio can do. Shouldn't really matter what the power output is because according to the experts, as long as that antenna is not connected, once I touch that button, it's gonna explode. Now in many of my videos, as I'm testing radios, I have sometimes keyed up accidentally, not intending to key up when there was no antenna. And all the experts jumped in and left comments. Today's word is ignorant, ignorant. All the experts jumped in and left comments saying, don't do that, the radio will be damaged, you're gonna kill your radio. And I've replied many times saying, don't worry. If I key up for just a moment, it's not gonna hurt it. It's just a second, nothing will happen. And the experts, Experts. Today's word is ignorant. The experts reply with scientific explanations like, oh yeah, if you're so smart, why don't you key up your radio for longer with no antenna and see how long it takes before it explodes. Challenge accepted. This should be a short video. I'm gonna key up the radio, I'm gonna take off the antenna. I'm gonna key up the radio, I'm gonna use my little timer and we're gonna see how long it takes before the radio explodes. Shouldn't take more than according to the experts. Today's video is brought to you by the word ignorant. According to the experts, should just take a few seconds. This will be a short video. Now let me just take a moment to lay out how this is gonna work, exactly what I'm gonna do, because no matter how I do it, some of the experts We'll leave comments saying, I did it wrong, I didn't key up the button hard enough, or I didn't take the antenna off, I, the, the antenna was still too close to the radio. So let's just go over how I'm gonna do this. I will remove the antenna from the radio. I will press the transmit button. At the same time, I'll start my timer. Starting in very short intervals, as I mentioned, according to the experts, two, three seconds, one second, we should be done. As I transmit, the light on my KG905G back there, let me safely put the antenna back on and show you. As I key up, can you see that? I can't see it. That will light up somewhere right over there. 
It may light up other times when I'm not transmitting because people are talking on GMRS channels in my area. But if it's transmitting, you'll see it over there. I have removed the antenna. I'm placing it at arm's length over there. I'm putting on my safety goggles because according to the experts, this thing is gonna burst into flames. But have you ever seen a lithium ion battery burst into flames? It's not, it won't be pretty. I don't want to get any shrapnel or shards of plastic or lithium ion battery juice in my eyes. So here we go. I've got my timer. And I'm going to start the timer and press the transmit button. And you should see it, whether or not it's transmitting in the back there. Three, two. Didn't blow up. Two seconds, one and a half seconds. I was a little slow on the timer. So now I'm going to do it again. Transmit for five seconds. What I'll do is each time will go longer and longer. So now let's transmit for 10 seconds. Ten seconds, the radio is still working. I noticed that the light on my KG905G, the screen, turns off after just a couple of seconds, even if I'm still transmitting, so I set the timer so it stays on longer. But it still may cut off even when I'm transmitting. We'll know for sure if it's transmitting if when I just touch the button, if it lights up. Still transmitting. So that was ten seconds. Let's go for twenty seconds. Eleven seconds, twelve seconds, twenty seconds. Still transmitting. Now we'll go for one minute. Thirty seconds. Forty five seconds. One minute. Still working after one minute. My thumb is getting tired. One minute, 30 seconds. Two minutes. Now we're gonna go for three minutes. I have to switch hands because my thumb, my talking thumb has gotten tired. So I'm gonna switch over to here. By the way, I do this so that you don't have to because you are my favorite viewer if I didn't already mention that. Three minutes is a long time. It seems like an eternity. Oh God. Still transmitting. I don't know if you can see the little red transmit light right there. I'm not sure if it shows up. Minute and a half, we're going for, I forget now, I've lost track already. Was I going for four minutes? We're just going to go to five minutes. Let's just get this over with. And in case the experts were wondering, I'm not turning the radio off between transmission times. Turning it off might allow it to cool down more. The experts are going to come up with a lot of reasons why this is not a valid test. Seems valid to me. They said that if I push this button without an antenna, it will die. I'm pushing the button without an antenna. And not just one long continuous press, multiple presses longer, longer, exponentially longer each time. Three minutes. This is what, second, third time? I don't know, I've already lost count. I did not anticipate how difficult it would be to hold this button for three minutes. I don't know how those long talker ham people do it. You know, the guys that just sit and talk and talk and talk and never shut up. I should say while I'm doing this, do not try this at home. I am an expert in ignorance. All right, coming up on four minutes and 30 seconds. The red transmit light is still on. I, I don't know if it shows up on the camera. My finger is officially dying. Little green light over there is still on on the 
right, that's uh, five minutes, past five minutes. Now I can feel, I just touched the middle part of the, uh, the male part of the antenna element, and it's hot, it's getting hot. So there is electrical energies storing up in there that are probably screaming to get out, but they're not. The key to their release is here. Coming up on six minutes, and honestly, my fingers are too tired to do any more. At six minutes, multiple times, so I worked my way up to six minutes. All right, past six minutes, I'm still holding it. Red light is still on, it has not exploded. Six minutes, 15 seconds. I can't take it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I can only do so much for you, my favorite viewer. The radio is a little bit warm. The top part where the antenna goes is hot. I can't tell if the warmth is just from my hand holding it or if it is from all those electrical energies screaming and fighting to get out. But the top, not as hot now, but it was pretty hot. So the radio still works. You can see the light lighting up over there, but I haven't proven my point yet because the experts will no doubt point out, yes, but the internals are now damaged. They're compromised. It won't work as well as it did before. So let's test that. So to test it, I'm gonna call my friend Chris, who is, if you've watched my previous videos, still receives. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that he is 10 miles away. Now reaching him on this little rubber ducky uh, antenna at 10 miles is a stretch. If I reach him, it's gonna be weak at best, but that will show, if I can reach him at 10 miles weekly, will show whether or not the radio is now damaged and compromised, damaged beyond repair. Chris, do you copy? Chris, do you copy? Yes, Randy, I copy you loud and clear, sir. Copy that. Would you say it sounds to you like I'm transmitting from a damaged radio? Now, I'm not saying that you should go around transmitting on your radio without an antenna hooked up. It did generate a lot of heat. I would go so far as to say that was not good for this radio, but after keying up multiple times at whatever, 10 seconds, five seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five, six minutes, six minutes, no damage to the radio. Do not try this at home. Again, I do it so you don't have to. Radio did not explode, it did not burst into flames, and a black hole did not form around my house. If you have any questions about this little test, I'd love to hear your theories about why. Oh, experts. The experts are going to tell us how I did this wrong, how I took off the antenna and pressed the button wrong, and that's why it didn't explode. So leave your comments below. Dickhead comments will be pinned to the top. That includes answering questions that nobody asked or just outright being a dickhead. Those comments will be pinned to the top so that we can all laugh at those comments and make fun of the person that leaves those comments. Thank you for watching. Remember that the most important thing about